Azerbaijan, in the Caucasus region, is a country that straddles both Eastern Europe and Western Asia, so expect a clash of East meets West and you will find a lot to enjoy here. Located on the Caspian Sea, there are quaint subtropical seaside resorts, or you can embrace Azerbaijan's name as the land of fire with a trip to a flaming mountain or a mud volcano. Number 1 Baku Baku, the capital city of Azerbaijan, lies along the Caspian Sea and is a somewhat curious mix of the old walled city of Ichiri Sihir and a modern building craze that has led a boom in skyscrapers, many of which are studded with LCD screens. Of all of these, make sure that you don't miss the flame towers, three towers built to resemble fire that cast a bronzed glow over the city at night. Number 2 Ichiri Sihir Known as Old City and Fortress, Ichiri Sihir is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the center of Baku, and you will find amazing architectural feats all over this protected quarter of the city. These include Maiden Tower that dates from the 12th century and was part of the ancient walled city of Baku, as well as Shervanshah Palace that was constructed in the 13th century. Number 3 Abzharan National Park Sitting in the Aziz Bayof region of the city of Baku, Abzharan National Park spans 783 hectares of protected land and is the perfect place to come to witness the stunning flora and fauna of Azerbaijan. The national park has a whole host of local wildlife such as gazelles, birds, jackals, badgers, and Caspian seals. Number 4 Garesa Volcano Many visitors to Azerbaijan may not know that the country has the highest number of mud volcanoes in the world. 350 to be exact. One of the best known is Garesa Volcano, that has been known to spew mud over 1,000 meters into the air. Number 5 Naftalon Oil Resort Naftalon Resort is famous due to the Naftalon crude oil found here that is said to have healing properties and has sparked a boom in medical tourism to the region. The resort is located in the Naftalon oil fields in the town of Naftalon, and visitors come here to bathe in the oil or to undergo a range of oil-based treatments that are said to help with pain relief and anti-inflammatory healing. Number 6 Gabustin Gabustin is often referred to as the Azerbaijan version of Stonehenge in the United Kingdom, as it features a prehistoric cromlech, a circle of stones that have been positioned vertically. It doesn't end there however, as Gabustin is an archaeological reserve that lies to the south of Baku and offers a fascinating insight into ancient civilizations due to over 6,000 rock drawings that span over 537 hectares. Number 7 The Caspian Sea Something of a misnomer, the Caspian Sea is actually the largest lake in the world and measures a whopping 371,000 square kilometers. The Caspian Sea is sits on what looks like an ocean bed, and the water here is indeed salty, although the saline content is lower than that of other seas and oceans, meaning that it is the perfect place for swimming as it is less likely to cause irritation. Number 8 Shervan National Park Shervan National Park, formally established as a protected area in 2003, used to be located under the Caspian Sea, and now spans over 54,000 hectares to the south of Baku. This protected area is made up largely of semi-desert landscape meaning that you will find ambling sand dunes that are the perfect hideaway for the gazelles found here, and nature lovers may also spot a diverse array of species including turtles, hedgehogs, jungle cats, and jackals. Number 9 Nabran Nabran is a village that has turned into something of a resort zone in Azerbaijan and is found approximately three hours outside of Baku, to the northeast. Nabran lies on the banks of the Caspian Sea, and one of the great attractions here is the climate, which provides plenty of sunshine in the summer months. Number 10 Sheki City Found to the west of Baku, this is famed as one of the oldest human settlements in all of the Caucasus, and is said to date back 2,500 years. Sheki City was a stop-off on the Silk Road, and was famous for exquisite silks and other textiles. This tradition is still very much alive in Sheki City today, and visitors here will find ornate embroidery and other local handicrafts on offer. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.